You know, recent developments in ESP are actually now beyond the cutting edge. And I propose a little experiment to show you something in what is called applied imagination. Uh, I need a couple people to help me, so I'd like you to help me. What is your first name? Corrine. Corrine, please come up here. And what is your first name? My name is Tim. Tim, please stand right here. And everyone make them feel warm, fuzzy, and comfortable. Right here behind the table, please, Corrine. And Tim, face everyone so they can see how handsome you are. Thank you very much. Now, I need a test card, just one test card. And, Corrine, I'm going to ask you to just relax, close your eyes, and take in deep breaths through your nose, and let them out through your mouth. Perfect. So just relax, relax continue to do that, and I'll get right back to you. Okay? Tim, select any of the cards here. They're all face up, so you can use anyone as the test card. Very good. Carefully show that to everyone so that everyone can see it except Corrine. All right? Thank you. Perfect. Corrine, what I want you to do now is with your eyes still closed, just imagine a single playing card in your mind. Now you see that behind the playing card is the rest of the deck. So you're looking at the bottom of 52 different cards. And in your imagination, I want you to see those cards flying by, as if you're counting them in your mind. You don't need to count them. Just see the different cards flying by in your mind. Corrine, in just a moment, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes and look at what I am holding. Open them now. Very good. Close your eyes again. Very good. Hold this card for me, Tim, our test card. And, Kareem, you may open your eyes. Now, what we did was just an experiment in applied imagination. I made some notes about what we would do in this experiment. Kareem, remove my notes, hand them to me, and hold on to the envelope, please. As I read this, screen, you can set the envelope down, take the cards, look through them, face up, for the card that you saw. As you do that, count the number of cards that are in the deck. Now, with one card here that Tim's holding, our test card, there should be 51 cards, but continue looking for your card. Tim, read along with me. It says, Experiment 113, July 1st, 1997. Regardless of the test card shown the subject, I will help her imagine, and I'll stop there for just a moment. Kareen, how many cards do you have? You should have a deck of cards. Minus one would be 51. How many are there? There's only 50. So one card is actually missing. And what was the card you saw when you opened your eyes? The ace of spades. The ace of spades. Would you show Kareen what she actually looked at? The five of spades. You see, it says, regardless of the test card shown the subject, I will help her imagine that she sees the ace of spades. <laughs> this will be impossible as I have sealed the ace of spades with these notes. Would you look inside the envelope, please? <laughs> And there is the card that you merely imagined a moment ago. Okay. This is Tim. This is Corrine. Thank you both very, very much. Thank you, Corrine, very, very much. And thank you.